So what is there? Why must people sexualize nudity when it's just a body walking by? Hi everyone, this is Coco Talk with Tade Tutu. I'm a model with Tribal Max, tambour building artist, an entrepreneur, and lots more. My Tribal Max came from my family, that is my dad's family. So in my dad's family, it's a thing. It's meant for beautification and identification of that particular family. So my dad gave it to some of his children, then stopped when the world become more modernized, so he stopped giving it to other children. So that is where I got it from, from my family. When someone reacted negatively about my tribal mark, you no, know, it wasn't cool because I was just a child and it really affected me and I was just low in spirits. Like, it wasn't really fair enough then as a child growing up because of my tribal marks, you know, the bullying, like children, we always ask, what is this on your face? It's ugly, you know, all those kind of things. So it wasn't really cool like that as a child. Yes, um, about my dad stopping the tribal marks, because most of my primary school pictures, group pictures, I was always hiding under the decks or behind someone. So at the end of the day, he's always looking for me in the pictures. That I know you were among people who took the pictures. Why are you not here? Until he caught me. That was when I was about passing out of primary school. And, and he was like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, they abuse us with this thing now. Why are you complaining that what I'm hiding? So he was like, OK, OK. And I finished secondary school around. 1999 thereabouts so it was like okay i'll stop with the other children and he stopped giving it to other children around that age and it has been that way till he died my parents no i don't have any parents as of the time i started modeling my dad died in that 2017 so my mom my mom has been late ever since so i have no one so it's just me and myself. Then about hating my dad for the trauma, it's not, it's not even an, it's something we call it. It's something we have to question that why is it done? We can't hate our father for giving us the tribal mark because you have to ask why it is done before you can give yourself the right to it. So when we ask about the right and, and my dad is someone who reads a lot and give you opportunity to learn yourself. So we did more research and it's an African thing. So why are people bullying us for it? So I don't hate my dad for it. It was part of things that, I, that was meant to do in their own family. So it's cool. About being a traditionalist. I was born a traditionalist. In, I was born into an Ifa practitioner. My dad was an Ifa practitioner. My mom and Oshun. A, a, a practitioner too so it's something that I can't even deny it's something I can't deny and that is why I flaunt it every day I've tried being a Christian and it doesn't work for me I see they are all still delving back into black stuffs. I, I see everything I observe everything they still come back to do what they are doing under the Sheshe community so what is the essence? So that is why I flaunt my uh, practice as much as possible. Tell young people to do their research about their African roots and history. Being a traditionalist is not evil. Forget about what Nollywood has taught you right from childhood. Nollywood people are practicing so much African stories. I won't call it jazz or what, but they know what they're doing. Yes, they know. They're just following the white man's 
religion just to you know whitewash with people that don't want to learn but being an african traditionalist is the best thing i've i've ever known it doesn't mean it's going to be sweet or true but at least you get to know this is how things are done this is how it should be done that was back in 2009 i'm like i'm looking for this person i befriended and got pregnant for and i couldn't find him till 2018 i see him popping back uh, sending me a message on um instagram yes i remember instagram i'm like uh uh run away how did you find me he said uh, that he could he saw me in the news and he just said he should check on me i said so what happened why did you let he said uh, i couldn't tell people that uh, he got that girl with the trevor mark pregnant i have to try and look for that chat again <laughs> or if i've not blocked him i was like oh so that is the issue that because of my face and or you couldn't face your responsibility that's not a genuine reason you say no that you can't show me off to people that is just it you say okay it's fine no problem i've been taking care of myself and my daughter so i don't need any interference i'm surviving and a lady has been doing it my decision about becoming a model was because I was tired of hiding and I, I remember I do tell my friends then in secondary school that I would love to be a model and they are like, yeah, which model? Is it possible to be a model with this? You know when we read all those glossy magazines we buy in secondary school and I'm like, I can be a model now. But since they told me that it's not possible, so I just kept that to myself until 2017 before I just decided that let me just give it a try and and since then I started because I'm a freelance model so I've not met anyone that rejects me because of my tribal marks no it, it, it might be either a makeup artist is trying to conceal my mark I have an issue there that they are okay this guy she's too proud they are not coming no it, that is the only issue I have where makeup artists try to cover my mask and I give them an attitude that I don't want that. But saying photographers, photographers want to work with me now with my tribal mask, but you must have a genuine reason for wanting to, for wanting me to be your muse. About Rihanna following me, I've been following Rihanna since uh, day one, you know, you know, diehard fans now. Yeah. So I'm the fancy thing came. I'm like, oh, this is cool. 2017 is not that really active. You know, the fancy was not really active. But at least I was still following her until I did. I collaborated with a photographer and did one shoot together. So by the time Brianna posted our fancy glasses, and I saw a similar photo that looked like the one I took with the photograph I'm like wow this is nice so it just came to my mind like, ah, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind being one of the models that are in this shoot with Rihanna so I just put out my thoughts on my Facebook page like, I wouldn't mind modeling for Rihanna my friends they are always ginger me they're like come on you can do it now it's not you just say it I'm like okay I want to model for me and so i posted it on all my social media pages and i wasn't really expecting the retweet or repost i wasn't but i was just posting it for about seven to eight days then rihanna followed me on the ninth day and i'm like oh this is getting real <laughs> so i just like where it has happened she followed me chatted me up and i'm like oh this thing is possible if I can still wait. So it was really cool. She hasn't said anything about me working with her yet, but at least we chatted and she just said her mind of about I'm beautiful and to keep doing what I'm doing. So no plans of working with her yet. She hasn't said anything. Well, if she told me, I won't tell the public now until I'm done. <laughs> about my nude shoots. 
right from when I was a teenager, I've always been a nudist. I have two younger siblings and we share the same room. I've always been a nudist and I see nothing wrong with it. I say, I believe as far as I can move around without no issue in my room. So what is there? Why must people sexualize nudity when it's just a body walking by? So I just took it up like, I see nothing wrong in posting my nudes because it's just my body, no sexual attachment to it. I just, nudity is an act to me. I've expressed myself better when I'm in my own nudity. I can say my mind, feel free, a whole lot of things. It means a lot to me. It's like a liberation, like I feel like I'm home when I'm naked. About this and uh, the raping of uh, this pedophilia thing, I think the best thing is that they should just approve death, death penalty to these people. I, I don't know because I don't like talking about rape issues due to my own personal experience. So just, they should just give them death penalty. They don't deserve to live. That is it. No pardon. Mm, any uh, celebrity call out. No, I don't see any celebrity in Nigeria that have an injury because everybody is doing their own thing, their own way. We are all just trying our best. So I don't have any issues with any celebrity. I'm, I, I mind my business very well. I drink a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> Top three, let me start from Tiwa Savage, Yemi Alade, Simi, those three women, mm. Asha. There are lots of them. Then for guys, ah, King Bona, <laughs> Naramali, Bado, Davido, you know now, all these people that I mentioned. It, they are on, the, on my first list, on my playlist. So there is it. These are my favorites. Well, I've been a Simi fan since we all knew her. Uh, but that one, I just said it because I, I've been hearing it right from a child. I'm like, this thing, we can stop it. This is the age of social media. We have the freedom to speak about this kind of things that authors that are not supposed to be said. I just said my mind and I'm happy that she talked to me via DM that she's sorry and she she now sees the wrong in what she said. Though not a lot of Nigerians agree to that, but at least I, I'm very grateful for her own opinion about it. She's I'm very grateful for that. About Boashagi's uh, nonsense post. That is his problem. I, 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 got the, I left the post on my page there. If he doesn't apologize it's because he sees nothing wrong, that is his problem. But at least I've said it there. You just don't make videos about uh, um, a tribal mark person who wanted to conceal a tribal that That is a tribal marks and that is what she wanted. Concealing it is okay for her, if it's not okay for me. But you making a video to joke about it, um, it's not fun at all. It's not fun. So I just said my mind and move away. He didn't apologize. I don't, if you like, he apologize. If you like, he doesn't have That is his problem. I don't have any issues. But I've said my mind out. Not everything you joke about when it means a lot to others. Uh, to single moms out there that are still struggling like me, ask for help. Don't be like Tutu because I'm always keeping quiet because the um, reason why I'm always keeping quiet, you know, people will say she's popular, she must be rich. No, there's difference between being popular and being rich. So single moms out there struggling, ask for help. People who will help you will help you and people who don't will not. So do your best, take care of your child the best way you can. Just continue doing your best and talk to your children or child often. Tell them your struggles. They understand. 
you don't think they are childish they understand everything that is it just be you